Hi, Lynn and Randy. I've, I've got the file that you sent over, and uh, I think I see uh, where a big part of the problem comes in. Uh, and it's a problem that a lot of people have, so maybe some others will get some good use from this video. But um, when you create cut paths in Design Edge, it's very important that you go to your uh, offset and convert <clears throat> tab and put in uh, the real expected curve. Uh, with fine cut consumables, I find that that is uh, usually about uh, 45,000, so 0.045. Uh, there is a page in your Hypertherm manual. Uh, mine's on page 3-25. Uh, and on that uh, is, is what you're looking for in the table of contents. It's the estimated curve width compensation. Uh, so you can set the curve several ways. You can just guess or you can actually measure it. Um, if I'm doing some dimensioned parts, especially out of thicker material that need to be more exact, what I do is set this curve offset to uh, width to zero. And, and draw a two inch square, I cut that two inch square and then use a caliper to measure it and however much under it is, is the width of the kerf and that's the amount that the torch takes out of course as it uh, goes uh, and makes a cut. <clears throat> so looking at your file, uh, the first thing I want to do is zoom in to what you sent me. And in this file, um, I have a show wide cut paths turned on, uh, and it's set to 0.06, which is the actual curve that you are going to expect uh, cutting quarter inch aluminum, uh, and that's from the ch from the chart and from my experience cutting it. So um, let me go and zoom in. I'm going to kind of reverse engineer this for you. Um, I'm going to uh, draw a line. H snap on that design path, P perpendicular to the cut path, and then that that small distance there is how much your offset is. So look at that length of that line compared to the width of what the torch is actually taking. Um, it's like 30% more. And so if I hit F8, it shows me that that is uh, 0.018 or 18 thousandths, which tells me that your kerf setting uh, when you created this path, if you created the path at a six inch size, which is very important, you should always only create the cut path at the size that you're going to cut. <clears throat> Otherwise, this offset is all screwed up and you never get your uh, spacing correct. So 18 tells me that's half of the uh, actual kerf setting you have, so that's 36. So your kerf setting is 0.036 if you created uh, this cut path at the correct size. And 36 thousandths uh, is the curve you would expect to get uh, cutting 22 gauge steel uh, with a fine cut consumable. So no, excuse me, with a 45 amp process. 45 amp process, 22 gauge metal, 35 thousandths is what you would expect there. So we're, we're nowhere close uh, on what it has to be, um, because like as you can see, uh, here's the line that's supposed to be the edge of the part, and over here's where my actual uh, cut is. So the reason the letters fell out, if we zoom in especially on that A, is, um, look, it, I mean, it, it's, it shows you here that it's going to fall out, uh, because they're so close. Um, these cut paths are so close to the actual paths, they weren't offset the correct amount, that they're actually cutting uh, the metal completely away. <clears throat> and you're also obviously, you know, very close together here. And if you look, uh, if we do the same thing, and I draw a line, uh, H on the path, P perpendicular, and F8 to measure, the width of that piece of aluminum that's holding the center of that A in, uh, is only 25 thousandths of an inch. Um, so the chances of that staying in uh, are pretty slim, even if the offset was set right. 
So I think that goes back to what was also mentioned that it's it's hard to uh, you know get right down to uh, being able to uh, to do that. And let me show you the difference and uh, what this looks like. There you see that cut path in the center of the A, <clears throat> and you see it going down uh, into these flames. And uh, for some reason, you've got some crossovers on here. I don't know if you have advanced design uh, or regular. I thought you had advanced, but I'm not sure. If you do, you need to check the eliminate crossovers box. Uh, and that will make this uh, go away and look like that. Uh, that'll get rid of all those little crossovers and bits and pieces. But let's go down here where I've created a cut path at the correct offset. And look at the difference in how it's going to cut that A. So now it's going to leave that material in there um, and, uh, and not fall out. And I would probably, <clears throat> if this were my file uh, and I wanted to cut it, I would probably on the A um, just do a... Uh, uh, because this is so small, you know, I'd trim that out. And make it look like that, uh, so that when it cut it, uh, you know that people are going to know what that means, what that is. Um, you know, I do the same thing over here on this one. Um, just because you can't, you know, these these bridges in here are a little bit bigger, uh, but on that a next to impossible to get that stay in at the size you're doing. Um, and if you look up here in the flames, you know, there's not room for the torch to get through there. So that's what that's actually going to look like when you cut it. Uh, if you use these cut paths, there is a setting overcut to reduce undercutting that we could click on. Um, you know, but at this size, I think that that would actually strengthen this design uh, to have it uh, not cut uh, that piece and just you can see in the black there what the piece is going to look like and it would have that little bridge you know kind of built in there so uh, this is with advanced design and on this one I did uh, uncheck the overcut to reduce undercutting uh, so that it would not uh, go ahead and fill in those spaces and it would leave those little bridges and here's a spot right here um, that uh, is not it's not even big enough for the torch to get in if I hit Q 0.06 okay that's the size of the torch it's smaller than a pierce so that hole is just impossible uh, at this size it's got to go away so maybe that helps um, and that isn't more confusing than it is helpful uh, but I, I I think you can cut this at six inches um, I just think you need to make that change to the A and probably um, not use uh, the overcut to reduce undercutting so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, email you back the file with this and these cut paths. And uh, if you've got another piece, you might see if you can get a uh, successful, a successful cut.